Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Ken Powell, who's Global Vice President of Sales Enablement for SunGuard. Welcome, Ken. Hi, Gerhard. Can you share with us uh, the relationship between setting standards and uh, sales compensation and how it uh, makes it easier to have standards? Sure. Th this has been a really important topic for us here at, uh, here at SunGuard. And when I think about standards, I think about the value in, in four areas. The first is it allows us to better forecast. And as you know, forecasting with accuracy is the lifeblood of, of an organization. Uh, the second with standards is it allows us to better manage the process and, the, and to add technology to the back office so that we can administer with simplicity, we can administer with speed, um, and as you know, salespeople uh, work really hard to, uh, to generate a new sale and they should be paid on time and, and accurately. Um, the third area in adding uh, comp standards um, has been to allow our, allow our business to be set up to sell across segment in a more fluid manner and to allow us to move talent across the business um, as well. So when everyone's working from a, from a general set of standards, um, it really helps us, in, helps us in those areas. And the final area is it allows, us, it allows our salespeople to better understand how they're paid and also how the business that they're selling aligns with the strategic priorities that we've set for the business. So the, what you're saying is that there is a business impact, uh, so you have more flexibility but also there's an impact on the salesperson where you have a higher level of motivation due to, I imagine, transparency. Sure, transparency is important and communication and a standard approach to how we pay people, how simple it is to understand your plan and, and where to focus your efforts has, has been really important in setting those standards. Can you share a number, uh, how much your forecasting accuracy has improved? I can share that we have forecasting accuracy north of 90%. So in terms of where we are and where we've come from, it's been a, it's been a dramatic improvement. But the business all the way up to our CEO can certainly understand and appreciate the volume of committed deals we have in a pipeline and what to potentially expect as upside. So you've eliminated the nail biting at the end of the month. <laughs> <laughs> for, for sure. So how do you use insights to develop account plans? To me, data-driven selling is now not only critical, but it's the new normal. Everyone and every business that is not using insight to, that they derive from the, the reams of data they have inside their business is missing an opportunity. So we've spent a lot of time trying to better understand what our customers buy from us, the frequency by which they buy, the complementary products that they may be willing to purchase as a result of other transaction. We use all of that information as a way to be more informed and to better direct our selling efforts, specifically when we're building account plans and when we're managing opportunities throughout the funnel. Can you share the, the final analysis uh, of when you, when you look at compensation, when you look at big data, um, what is the next step? Where do you see this going? To me, data today is a commodity. And there's lots of it out there, quite honestly, more than the general person can really absorb or, or manage. So having the ability to layer business intelligence tools on top of your data set, but more importantly, to glean insights from the data is where businesses are moving and where we're trying to be focused on. So are you planning to invest in more analytical tools? Oh, for sure. We, uh, we need to have a better, more robust view on our customers and our prospects and to make it simple for sales and marketing professionals in the organization to understand how to use that information. Great. Thank you for sharing your insights, Ken. Thank you.